want to talk about Philippines Electronics. Um, the Philippines itself is a well, it hasn't got a habit, it just does it import a ridiculous amount of junk, uh, predominantly from China. Um, I would say a lot of the stuff wouldn't actually pass quality control elsewhere, um, purely because it's so substandard. You'll, you'll find that every corner's been cut to save money. Um, an example of that is you will find things like electrical fans may burn out more than they should um, because the electrical wiring is too thin. You'll see a lot of the extension leads that people use are not rated for the amount of power that's going through them. Um, it's quite common. I mean, when I say quite common, it's very common. Um, it's something to look for. When, when, when you're buying something, have a look at the ele actual electrical cable because if you're buying an electric fan, there's only two real major components that are going to go wrong um, and that's the motor and the cable. Uh, don't worry about the blades, you can buy blades anywhere. Um, but the actual motor um, is basically an uh, electrical coil. Uh, it can be rewound as well. I've, I've actually had coils rebuilt. Um, but uh, the biggest one is the, the cables burn out. Because when you think about it, in the Philippines, if you haven't got your air conditioning on, there's a good chance that that little uh, fan you buy is going to be running at least 12 hours a day, every day. Um, I know myself, I often leave cooling on, even when I'm out, so that the room maintains an ambient temperature. Um, okay, the fans generally don't cool that well, but at the same time, if it's, I have air conditioning on as well, um, it does bring the temperature right down, because what I do is I use the fan to blow airflow back um, away from the windows and into the room. So. It, it basically keeps the air circulating and cooling in, in the room itself. Uh, but you will find there's a lot of substandard stuff around. Um, there's also a lot of fake stuff. Um, I'm not sure if the sunglasses I bought are fakes. I paid full premium for them from my department store. Um, I bought them from SM. What's it? Um, SM. Um, they, were, they were about £140 a pair, um, but I would say that my Ray-Bans have also failed from the ones I bought in the Middle East as well. Uh, there's just different faults on the two pairs. They've got one major fault, which is the screws, where the screws are attached in the lenses, they crack. But on the SM ones, the polarisation is also bubbled, um, which does put a doubt in my mind, they're originals. Um, so. Pay, overpaid for a pair of junk sunglasses but I won't be buying Ray-Bans again because that's two pairs that have been duff and they, they can actually control the quality but also they don't respond to any emails about where you should buy or anything else it's not a company I want to use um, but yeah fakes are everywhere iPhones were I remember an iPhone the what well, they call an iPhone and then there's a Chinese iPhone Chinese iPhone uh, the original ones didn't have GPS on them. That was the, that's how you could tell the difference. Um, and Filipinos know their stuff. They, you know, they will be able to tell you if it's fake or not. They, they know. Um, even, I mean, I remember jewellery is another one. Uh, April will check every link on a chain or something to see if there's any imperfections where basically it's been sold as a second, um, but it's been sold at a premium price in a in a shopping mall, for example. Um, there's all these little things which may not seem that major but at the same time there is stuff that could actually potentially kill. Um, like I was saying with electrics, electrical fires is one of the biggest problems they have in the Philippines where, when they build that, uh, burn down these um, shanty towns etc. It's not caused by accident, it's not somebody having a cigarette or something, it's normally an electrical fire. So it's something to be aware of. What would I do? I recommend not buying in the country if you can help it. Um, I do buy branded products like from the Samsung shop. Um, but I would also say that when I went to Canon to get bits for my uh, a new lens for my Canon camera, they did actually have um, unbranded 
uh, lens covers and stuff like that, which Canon normally don't let you do. So, but it's the Philippines. They people do what they want. Um, so I do advise buying outside if you can. Um, now I'll talk about cameras, cameras next time. But a but the thing to be aware of is look at the cables whenever you're buying something because that'll be the first telltale sign that something's substandard um, because that, that's the first thing they skimp on is cheap cables all right thanks for watching yeah.